how to map user form data in Excel in one minute. We create a named range for the customer ID. So in the name manager, we have a dynamic named range for the customer ID. Then we're gonna go into the developers. In the Visual Basic, we've got a user form already set up. The field names are field one, two, and three, and so on and so forth. Inside the code there, we're cancel button, we're gonna hide that form. For the save button, we're gonna dimension the customer field as control, row, and customer column as long. With the customer sheet, we're gonna get that first available customer row. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna get the next available customer ID using A is the where we're gonna put it, application worksheet function max formula for the customer ID. If there's an error, there's no data, we're just gonna set it to one. Then all we need to do is run our loop for all the columns, starting from column two to eight. We're going to set the customer field equal to ME controls field and the customer column minus one. Then we're going to set the value to the customer field. And then we're going to show the form using that. That's it. That's all we have to do to automatically map data. Thanks so much. Like and follow for more.